Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rebecca, I'm 28 and I live in Newcastle and you are reporting for Beauty Juggy. So, as I always say, um, I have an exciting video for you, to, for you today, but I think this time is probably, is really exciting. So I managed to get hold of a, quite a new release um, very quickly as well. So I ordered the full, um, new collection by Luna Beauty which is um, an indie brand owned and created by the influencer Manny MUA. Um, I actually really enjoy watching his channel I think he's really funny and um, he has a similar skin type to me and things like that so I really enjoy watching him. So the collection consists of a blush palette and three lip glosses um, and I've actually used the blush palette to do my blush, my blushy highlight my bronzer and my eyeshadow look and I have one of the glosses on with a lip liner underneath. So I didn't swatch it when I was doing my like tutorial testing out so I'm going to swatch it for you now. So the palette came in a unicarton just like this here so it says moon prism blush cheek palette and that's what it looks like. Really beautiful packaging, really stunning and this is the main one here so it's got really stunning 3D packaging it's really nice like that is I thought I could pop it in but you can't really 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 cute and um, comes with a good mirror and that's the shades in there for you and then I have the three glosses I ordered these all off Beauty Bay so the palette was £35 and the glosses were £16 each so here are the glosses I love the packaging on these look so it's all sealed there, but it's got the little crystal inside, which sort of has the sort of multi-colour effect to it. And then that's the components there. Really, really gorgeous. One thing I have to say is one of them came without its box. So two of them came with their box and one of them came without it. I have still used them. It is what it is. And I have contacted Beauty Bay. It's not a massive deal. Like, it's just... Some people do collect packaging. I'm not bothered. It'll be chucked away. Like I'm not asked. I really aren't. I'm really not. But it's just more like, you know, it's 16 pound glasses. I expect them to come as I wanted them to come. So I'm going to give you some swatches of this. We've got six shades here and I'm going to swatch them for you. So how am I going to swatch these? I'm going to do on the back of my hand. Yeah, let's try the back of my hand. So oh, swatching first the shade here, oh, hello, which you can look at my butterflies, which I have there instead, which is Pink Moon. So this is the only one that I don't think is going to work as a blush for me on the cheek, but I certainly will make it work on the eye. Uh, maybe it will work on the cheek really built up. So that is Pink Moon there for you. It is completely matte. So there's that. And then I'm going into Soleil, which is this here and does have a duochrome effect to it. And that's what I have on, on sort of the blush um, highlight hybrid. What have I, have I got? I've got something in one of my shades already. Let's just swatch that there. So that is it there. And you can see it's on my cheek as well and pulls really, really gold on me, which I do really like. If I built it up, I could get it to be super blushy, but I just wanted it to be a highlighter. I love it, actually. I really like it. And going into the shade Twilight, which I have on is my blush with Soleil on top. So that's a super nice sort of peachy orangey colour. And then going into the shade Stargaze, which is this one there. There we go. So I've used a bit of that on my eye. That one there, sorry. And then going into Spacey, which is the only one I've not used because it is cooler toned, but you will see it on my channel because I do love to wear purple um, and cooler toned looks. Oh, I didn't hold that up. Spacey is this one. So I've popped 
space each just there. It's a really cool tone, sort of mauvey shade. And then Gravity is way too dark to wear as a blush on me. So I have it as a bronzer and it has a slight bit of like micro shimmer, which makes it more of a satin, but it doesn't show up on the skin. And that is this one here. So that's all of them. Again, we have Gravity, Spacey, Stargaze, Twilight, Soleil and Pink Moon, which is that one there. There we go. So I'm just going to wipe those off my hand and swatch all three of the glosses for you. Right, so... Oh got stuff everywhere like I'm the most untidy person ever going in with the shade Celine which is this here some lovely reflect to it sorry that's probably a gross noise these smell incredible by the way so that's the shade Celine Not sure how well it's picking up but it has some lovely like gold reflect in it then going into the shade moon this is the only one that doesn't have any sparkling that's what it looks like and that's what it looks like in the component so a sort of milky latte sort of color oh sorry about that noise and that's it there and then on to what i've got on my lips show you that so there's a tiny bit of micro shimmer to it and that is the shade starlight Put a bit on more more on for you why not although you would have already seen it in action and that is that shade there so again we have celine moon and starlight So for reference in foundation shades that I use, um, just so you can tell if it would work for you, um, just open my foundation drawer. Um, I wear um, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear Foundation in 4W 1.5 Tawny. Um, I wear um, shades in Revolution depending on the on the formula to from 9 to 10.5. So I am medium and neutral toned. And all of these blushes, I think I spoke about Pink Moon too much, you'll see in the later part of the video, but obviously it was filmed before this. But I spoke too soon and I do think I will be able to use that um, as a blush if I build it up. Anyway, let's get into the good part and I shall see you soon. Bye. Okay, hello. So my base is on and, well, some of it's on. So... I'm hoping I would have talked about this in my intro, as I always say, but I have my um, Moon Prism Cheek Palette, Moon, Moon Prism Blush Cheek Palette by Luna Beauty, and that's it here. So, the colours that are inside, um, I'm going to use this in three different ways. So, this shade is definitely too dark for me for blush, so I'm going to use it as a bronzer, and I'm also going to create an eye look with it as well because when you go on holiday and things or have a trip away you don't always want to um bring loads of things with you and also you want to get the best sort of value for money when you buy things as well so that's what I sort of have in mind just going to move the camera there we go right so going into this shade here which is gravity I'm just going to grab my normal bronzer blush blush bronzer brush even i'm just gonna tap that straight into the pan i mean woe betide me if this comes out a bit wrong but you know what i wanted to try and see oh yeah actually that works spot on as a as a bronzer on me absolutely spot on oh, and it blends really nicely I have a bit of dark patch on my skin there it's a bit rough from scarring but 
That is nice. I think that has worked really, really well as a bronzer. What do you think? Yeah, nice. I'm gonna do, do my blush next. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down um, Twilight here, and then I'm gonna use Soleil, which is the one with a bit of shimmer to it over the top. So I'm just grabbing my usual blusher brush. I have given this a clean. Stranger things have happened. Again, I still only have a mirror off to the side of me. I'm trying to still keep myself as close into the camera as possible. I just realised the video when I've explained that I've uh, changed my filming setup a little bit. Will not be up before this one, but it is filmed and edited. So what I've done is I've moved the mirror from in front of me so that I can bring the camera closer to my face. That is a really lovely peachy shade. And as he said in his reveal video, they are buildable. So not it's not like it's depositing loads of pigment instantly so you know i'm not sort of gonna sort of make myself look like a clown too quickly oh i love that I'm just gonna grab my bronzer brush and just blend underneath that mm. Mm, that is a beautiful color yeah Going for something quite blushy today, going all the way up, because obviously I want it to show up as a video on blush, so I want to make sure I'm making the most of it. And then I'm going into Stil Soleil, which is the shimmery shade right here, and I'm going to take this on my highlighting brush. Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. So more of a subtle highlight, but definitely beautiful. Uh, oh no, that maybe not as subtle as I thought when I sort of really build it up. Oh yeah, that is stunning actually. And it really melts into, the, because these two colors are quite similar, that one and that one, um, Soleil and Twilight. So they really complement each other on the cheeks super, super well. Oh, I have some lip liner on. I don't think I said that before. Ooh, nice. Then I'm going to take a tad bit of Soleil down my nose. And a little bit on my chin. Because it's actually not so pink that it can't be used essentially as a bronze and blush. Not bronze, a blush. Um, and highlight a hybrid. Yeah, nice, right? Really cute. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick, just a really, really quick, super basic eye look with this. So my eyes aren't fully set. So they're like not as tacky as they normally are because, yeah, it's hard to keep your eye base completely tacky. Uh, when you've done the rest of your face and I don't want to go in with more um, primer over. So I'm going to go into the shade Gravity and that's what I used as my bronzer and I'm literally just going to grab that on a Jessup 227 which is just this one here. It's stained, it doesn't actually have any pigment on the brush and I'm just gonna quickly Ooh, that's nice. Swivel that round into my crease. There we go. That is beautiful, actually. I really like that. You know what I'm going to do? Give you a bit of peel porn because I can't see into this mirror very well. Oh, don't have a lot. Nice. There we go, now I can see into that a bit better. I love that this has a mirror as well. So just give that a quick swivel round in the lid. That is nice. And then do the same on the other eye. So 
So again, this is just something super basic that if you were running out of the house and you didn't want to have to sort of whip out an eyeshadow palette, that because it's only six shades, it's easy to sort of decide and you can just, you know, pop something easy in your crease. You could even just blend this all out, all over the eye, bit of eyeliner and done. But I'm going to try and use as many of them on the eye as I can. So I'm like blending as I go, so I'm not packing this on like I normally would. Because as I said, I'm just doing something super quick just to demonstrate how easy it is to use this. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade Twilight, which is the one that I used as my first blush. And I'm just going to take that again on quite a fluffy brush. Again, this is stained. I've been using it quite often, which is the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS5. I'm just going to tap a tiny bit into this shade. And I'm literally just going to swivel that round in the crease, going slightly above the crease but nothing, you know, too much. And what I'm not doing is I'm not using any brushes that are too precise. I'm literally just doing something super quick, super easy. You know, something if you're on your way out to work in the morning, you've only got a little bit of time. Maybe you're, you know, you've got some kids and you need to get them ready as well as yourself and just want to do something super, super quick. There we go. And then I'm going to take an even fluffier brush, which is this one here, and go into the shade Pink Moon, because I think this is the only way that I could probably use this. And just take that and blend around the edges. This Pink Moon's the one shade that I definitely can't use as a blush. Well, I haven't swatched these yet, so I'm not 100% sure. So there we go. Okay, so that's fab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just looking for a slightly flatter brush. It's down to at the moment of what is clean enough to use. I'm going to take this, just has a bit of sort of concealer on it. So I'm just going to clean that a little bit. See if I can use the, I think it, what was it called? Soleil, the slight, this shimmery sort of blush highlight hybrid on as on the lid. So actually what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take this brush here, give that a slight bit of a clean, go into Stargaze, which is just that one there, and I'm just going to continue that, pack that, well kind of semi-pack that on the lid, that's actually super super pigmented. There we go. Then I'm just going to grab this brush, dip into Soleil. And oh yeah, it doesn't add much, like it's not necessarily that metallic on the lid. But you know what, I'm just using this. I'm not using it as it's designed to be used really. And so it's got a little bit of the gold reflect, but it's not particularly looking that metallic on the lid, but I don't mind brightened it up really really nicely so just do the same on the other side as well oh my goodness I was super excited about this release when I saw it I just thought how different I'm really happy to have something a bit different from another yet yeah, another eyeshadow palette you know shh, I'm gonna put my eyeshadow palettes over here it's nothing against you I just have a lot of you so, and I don't have loads of blushes. I was really excited about this. So just going back into this brush here again, and I'm going to go into Gravity, which is that shade there. And I'm just going to wiggle that background into the crease. 
just to blend out what I've just done on the lid a bit. And there we go. There we are. Really summery, really simple look. Nothing to it. Just cleaning off my brush slightly. Oh, a shelf fell down here and I tried to glue it back up. So that's what's on the wall. And then I'm going to take the shade Gravity just here on a slightly smaller brush. And I'm just going to wiggle that under the eye. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Then grab this brush again and go into Twilight, twilight and dip into Gravity a little bit. And just sort of blend that out. Okay. And then just on a really big, well, not my biggest fluffy brush, but just this one here. I'm going to take dip into pink moon oh hello um which is just that one there just super simple nothing to it right i'm just gonna quickly pop off and pop some lashes on and then i've got something else that's really cool to show you as well so i won't be a minute and i'll be right back okay so i'm back i've popped some liner on and some lashes aren't they nice lashes they're from a site called pound lashes i think these are if they weren't a pound, they weren't two pounds. Anyway, in the style Sinner. And I really love them. My eyelash glue is still drying a bit, but I didn't want to wait any longer. So when I bought the blush palette, I also bought all three of the glosses from the new release. So I have Celine, Moon and Starlight. So I'm going to swatch all three of these on my lips for you. So... I am going to start off with the only like non shimmery gloss. I have um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner down because I just think um, a lip liner is nice to have down. Um, it's how I would wear them. So, yeah. Um, what you can see here is I have a freckle on my lips. There we go. So, these, this is quite pale as well, I think, for me. And there we go. This is Moon. Ooh, and these smell absolutely insane. Oh, that is so nice. So, my good friend Rosie, she's been banging on about his gloss formula. Saying that it's a favourite. Mm, not sticky at all. There we go i will swatch these will have swatched these at the beginning i'm hope hoping um don't look at my questionable li liquid eyeliner things went wrong so that's that shade there is there any on my teeth no okay obviously because i have pillow talk down um it looks a bit different um i'm just gonna wipe this off and then i'll just hop on to the next two i'll be right back okay so i'm back I have put a different lip liner on than Pillow Talk because I think that was leaning slightly too pink. Um, so I'll swatch Moon again at the end. Um, so I've got MUA TLC liner on. So I'm going into next, which is a one that does have a bit of shimmer to it, which is the shade Starlight. So that's what it looks like there. As a, again, hopefully I will have swatched these at the beginning for you. So I'm just looking in my mirror here. Ooh, that one's got a nice bit of colour to it. It matches this lip liner really nicely. Does it have shine? Does it have glitter to it? A slight. That is really nice. You can't really see the micro shimmer. And I can't really see it in the mirror either. That is almost like the perfect nude and goes really nicely with this eye. Again, not sticky. Can't feel any glitter in it. Really, really nice shade. So far, this is my favourite. Mm. I really like that. Really, really like it. Okay, so I'm going to pop this off and I'll be right back. I just realised I smiled there and I got some on my teeth. What's new for me? Oh, well. Okay, 
So I've popped the same TLC lip liner by um, MUA Cosmetics on and I'm going into the shade Celine. So this one is definitely more of a clear gloss it looks like with a lot of shimmer to it. Oh yeah. So this one doesn't necessarily have much of a base colour. Mmm, it does feel really nice. Gone over my lips a bit, but we're not aiming for perfection here. That is really love that. Not sticky at all. There's no no stickiness to these. Like not not an inch. It just literally feels like comfortable and moisturizing on your lips. Obviously, I'm not wearing it for any sort of period of time. So I'll just see what happens as I go along. Um, but yeah, that's all three of those lips swatched. Um, as promised, I'll go back in with Moon with a different lip liner. So I'm just going to take these off again and I'll be right back. So I've got the TLC, oh, I've got a hair. But TLC lip liner on and I'm going to go back in and lip swatch the shade Moon for you. Because I don't think I did it justice last time, so... There we go. <laughs> Any more teeth? Nope. These make my lips look massive. I don't have small lips anyway, but they're really nice. It feels really good. Mm. Mm, yeah. Okay. So I think my favorite out of the three was the middle one I used, which was the shade Starlight. Yeah, Starlight. So sorry to my lips, but I'm going to pop off what I have on and pop that back on and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's my favourite of the three pop back on. It's what I think matches my whole look overall the best as well. I'm impressed. Um, I've liked everything that I've used. The glosses feel like a great formula. I don't have any on my teeth. I'm not really worried about that. Um, um, I was happy that I managed to get as much use out of the palette. There you go. You can see that, you know, what I've put on. And I'm glad that I can show you three different ways to use it. And so you can get the most for your money. And I will 100% be using this again. You will see this the, um, blush palette in many, many videos of mine. I really loved that as a bronzer. I think it went on really smoothly and worked really well for me. All three glosses are usable for me and um, all three shades suit me so I'm really happy with that formula feels mm, yeah really good really really nice yeah perfect so let me know what you think of the collection down below have you already picked anything up or are you planning to pick on any um are you planning to pick up any of the collection after watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel Give me a like if you enjoyed the video and ring that bell so you're notified of when I next upload. Um, oh, almost forgot. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram as well. I do post different looks over there. And if any of the looks that you see you'd like me to film, just give me a comment on Instagram and I'll sort that out for you. Thank you very much for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye.